Rade rade dears, have you ever had the situation where you paint a picture and you really like how it turned out, so you want to share it with the world? And you try to make the best photo of it and all what you get is... Well... Today I will show you the process of editing your picture from this to this. Let's get right into Photoshop and do it. First of all go to file and click open, then find your photo on your computer and click open again. I hope you are slightly familiar with the software, otherwise watch this tutorial on slower speed or just see some basic tutorials on YouTube. I close the tabs that I don't need, like library and this other tab. So now I have more workspace. Now go to image and image rotation and 90% clockwise. So the next thing I do is crop the picture a little bit with a cropping tool on each side. To accept your crop just double click on the canvas. Now I go to selection tool but first duplicate the layer and just by clicking circle plus T and rotate the picture and then I crop again. It is still not perfectly aligned with the edges so I select the part then right click it and choose transformation and then warp. Now you can click on these blue points and drag them to create a perfect line on each side. I do the same process on all edges and I sped up the process a little bit because it's all same what I do, just selecting different parts and trying to get the perfect lines. Next thing I do is crop the small parts off on each side. I use the zoom tool to see exactly where the picture ends. Now that I'm happy with the result, I duplicate the layer and go to Filter and Camera Row Filter. Here we have a lot of adjustments. I strongly suggest just clicking all of them and trying out what they do. So basically there are color correctors and brightness correctors and contrast correctors, saturation. I just try all of them. Just with this filter you get already much better results. Next up is shape correction. I go to filter and then press liquify. Now with this brush I can push edges around. Actually I push the picture around now. You can also change the size of the brush. And click OK to accept your transformations. Next step is adding color to your picture. And I make a new layer, select brush and go in painting the color I want. For the background here I want this light orange. And now see the magic happen. Go here and um, go through all to find the perfect one. These are basically the blending modes. Find the right opacity. And here you go, you have very, very shiny background. I repeat the process for different parts with different colors. Like for the dress here I take orange color and I always make a new layer for each of these colors. Every layer needs different opacity settings for this method. Also I can create a mask and just paint with black if I don't want any part to be colored or just erase the parts with eraser tool if you don't need them. Basically I repeat this process again and again. Here I go to window and choose brush to get the brush settings.
Now I merge all the layers and see what I get. Pretty good result already. This is a little trick that I always do. I make a new layer, then go to filter and blur, and then I select Gaussian blur, and I select quite a lot of blur. Then I press OK, go to my layers and select blending mode that suits well. Here I select hard light. This makes the picture more vibrant and overall I like this effect very much. Let's save the photo. Saving is very important in this software. Then I go to window and uh, choose the adjustments so that I have this adjustment window. Now I go to selective color correction and uh, you can choose the tone that you want to correct. Here I am correcting the red tones only. I suggest you to try all of these uh, tones. Also yellow, green, blue. It depends what you picture you have. Because in some pictures there are no greens, for example. I drag adjustments to one side that uh, I, it's more convenient to see both of them at the same time. I go to color balance and correct picture with color balance and press the sliders to correct the colors. This little trick will help you if you have problems with that your picture looks a bit flat. I first press the black and white adjustment and then I go to highlight and contrast, make it more darker. And then I go to fill tool, fill this with black and then paint white over it, just the parts that are very light. Like this, you see already, there are more shadows now. Maybe you did it too strongly, then you can just change the opacity of this layer. Now I sped up the video for all kinds of different corrections, but basically I repeat the same ones that I told you already. I repeat the same process for highlights. I make the whole picture more highlighted with brightness and contrast tool, then make a black mask and paint white on this mask to make the highlights. I repeat this process many times till I get the best result that I hopefully like. The last trick that I want to tell you about is checking how the picture looks if I flip it horizontally. Sometimes you just see that there is something off with the face or with the composition and you just cannot guess what it is. So I suggest you go to picture and then choose picture rotation and then choose flip horizontally and I immediately see that there are some problems with Krishna's face so I go again to filter and liquify and adjust the face so that it also looks good when flipped. Now I can just go to picture, image rotation and flip canvas horizontally. And here is the final result of this editing. I'm happy with it and I really hope those tips were helpful for you. This is my workflow that I always use when I take a photo and then edit it digitally. If you have a question, please write it in the comments below. I will try to answer it the best way I can. Please subscribe to my channel to get more spiritual art content and like this video. It really helps me a lot. I wish you all the best on your creative journey. Rade, rade!